Hi, girls! Today we made it to Obby Inside Out 2. We have a long way to go from here. Hi, Applejack! Hello, Rainbow Dash! Hello, Fluttershy! Let's get through this Obby faster! Girls, why are we standing in the same place? We have to get out of here right now! Let's hurry up and start passing these tests! Rainbow Dash, that is just a great idea! Hurry up and run from here! Okay, the trials don't seem to be very difficult so far. Girls, the main thing is not to fall down. It's very dangerous. We could die. Let's be careful. Girls, jump on those platforms and most importantly, don't fall down. If we fall down, we'll die. It can be very painful. Uh, what kind of tunnel is this? The trials are getting harder and harder. I don't like it. Family, let's go faster to the next checkpoint. Hurry up. Where is the end of this ordeal? Yay! Here comes the checkpoint. Girls, jump on those little cubes. But be careful. Subscribers, please help us escape from here. Give us a like under this video. It will really help our passage. Oh no, lasers. Family, I don't like this. Let's be very careful. We could die and never get out of here. Oh no, Rainbow Dash, we fell. Family, jump on those apples or red balloons. I don't know what this is. There's some kind of upward climb. Girls, hurry up. There might be a way out. That would be really cool. I have no doubt we can get out of here. We're a team. We have to do it. Family, we have different items popping up every time. I don't understand why we need them. But they seem to help us get through this obby. Yay! We finally made it to the top. This is really cool. So, there's some kind of tunnel. Let's go through it. Girls, we are on level 11. It's only a little while left and we're going to get out of here. This is very cool. Yay! We're going down some kind of hill. This is really cool. Don't fall down. Ah, we fell down. Fluttershy, we have to be careful or we'll never get out of here. Oh, where's the way out? So, this is a very dangerous moment. We have to be very careful not to fall down again. Girls, there are some circles in here. Quickly jump on them to get to the checkpoint and save our progress. Hurry up! Yay! Here comes the checkpoint! Yay! We're on our 14th challenge! This is very cool! There's not much left! Girls, hurry up! So, you just have to walk forward and not touch the white platform. We have to be very careful. Oh no! There are lasers in here! Girls, don't step on them! We can jump over them with the spring they gave us! So, now let's get up on those platforms! We need to get to the checkpoint now. So this is a very thin platform. Girls, we have to be very careful not to fall down. Let's go slow. Hurry up and jump on those pyramids. There must be a way out somewhere. I'm sure of it. But let's be careful. We can't fall anymore. We are already on our 20th challenge. Girls, this is really cool. Only thing that stresses me out is that the challenges are getting harder and harder each time. That's too bad. Oh no, we're down. This is very bad. Let's be careful. If we fall so often, we'll never get out of here. So, the next challenge doesn't look very dangerous. It's all about not falling down. Oh no, girls, we fell down again. Oh my God, we keep falling down. We're not neat. So, there's some kind of upward climb again. Girls, let's hurry up and get to the top. Subscribers, please help us escape this crazy obby. Give us a like under this video. It will help us a lot. There's sadness. Girls, I don't like it. There better be joy. That would mean the way out is near. So, well, we were supposed to pass, but it's stage 26. That's too bad. Okay, looks like this is not the way out yet. Jumping on those platforms. Just don't fall down. It can be very dangerous. Let's be careful. Yay! We have a car. That's very cool. Oh no! We fell! What's going on here? I don't understand anything. Stop! Where are we going? What's going on here? Why are we dying for the second time in this trial? It's not that hard. Rainbow Dash, don't worry. We should definitely be able to make it work now. I'm just sure of it. Just a little bit more and we will pass this obby.
It was very, very, very easy. Another slide. Why are there so many of them? This is really stressing me out. When are we going to get past this, Abby? So, you have to go straight here. This looks pretty easy, and I hope we don't have any problems with it. So, we made it by car. It's a good thing we have one. Oh, no! We fell! But it's helping us get there faster. Girls, let's just walk. It's so much safer than driving. It's a very narrow space for a car. Yay! I see the checkpoint. Girls, I'm pretty sure we're almost past that obby. Not much left to go. Don't relax. It's too soon. Pinkie Pie, I too hope we almost pass this obby. Even though they seem not very complicated, but with each time become more and more complex. Uh, we have a very cool blue car. It is a pleasure to drive it. Very great. Okay, let's go. Oh no! There are trials where you need to guess the right way. Let's just jump this test with the blue spring! Pinky, pee pee. It's a good idea. And then on the car, to be honest, we did not work very well. But with your option, I'm sure we will succeed. I already see checkpoint. Fluttershy, faster jump to it to save our progress. So, here are lasers. I don't like it. Hurry up, but do not touch these lasers or we will die! It is very dangerous! You must be very careful! So, and now we are going up to some skyscraper! When we rise, we will be very high and we will see where the exit is! So, Pinkie Pie, we almost went upstairs! There's a bit left! I really hope the end of this obby is somewhere nearby. He has to be around. Fluttershy, unfortunately, there is some kind of slide. Uh, where is the way out? I thought it would be here, but unfortunately not. Girls! I'm sorry to interrupt your conversation, but there's some stairs. Let's get up and see what's there. Rainbow Dash, unfortunately, this is not the way out. When are we going to get out of here? Where is the way out? I'm hungry. So, walk on this very thin platform, only gently. We can fall down. We need to be very careful. We are already at the 42nd stage. How much more do we have left? This is some madness. How many can I pass? I'm a little tired. Girls, looks like there is still a long way to go. So I suggest you stop at this point and continue in the next video. How do you like the idea? Fluttershy, this is just a wonderful idea. Girls, thank you for today's passage. Sorry we did not have time to pass this obby to the end. Friends, if you liked our passage of this obby, be sure to like under this video. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Subscribers! And if you do not want to miss our new videos, be sure to click on the bell which is next to the button, subscribe. Friends, please write in the comments from where we run next time and we will definitely try to do it. Hello, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Roblox. We have found a very interesting mode that you will all like. Hello, everyone. Today, we will be playing in victories from the house of the Peppa Pig family. This is a very unusual test because we have not yet done that exactly. Let's probably get this over with. Pinkie Pie, you talk too much. Let's just quietly pass all these tests and not distract each other. We need to run away, not talk. We have already passed a whole parkour room while you were talking. Better look further. What an interesting test here. We have to get through it and get to the next one. Here we have finally passed it. Let's quickly move on. Here you need to use something to pass this test. Looks like Daddy Pig dropped all the remote controls. Let's go jump those remote controls already. We've been going through this too long and we need to accelerate. We're still the fastest in the area and we can get through this in minutes. Hurry up, I wonder what's waiting for us there. Let's see, wow, we got into the kitchen at the house of the Peppa Pig family. How terribly beautiful, let's go. Everything is very cool here, so we are also greeted by Peppa and George. Let's start all this already and do not waste time. It's a very complicated knife trial, but we're still doing it. Here I see the next obstacle. Here we will have to jump through various products and get on the fridge. From there, we will already get into some ventilation. It's so cool, everything is arranged. So let's go inside and try to find a way out. There must be a lot of moves, but we need to find the only definitely our way out. No sign of him yet. We need to find a way out of here because I do not like this environment. I just want to get out of here and relax at home. But we're still sitting here and we can't get out of this vent. There are many moves, but they do not lead to the same point. 
So if we run one way first, there may not be a passageway and have to run the other way. This is very cool. Here we are running to the exit, and now we will see what is waiting for us next. We got to someone in the mouth, and we need to quickly get out of here. There's a big hole over there. You have to jump down quickly to get out of here. I hope it's safe. Oh no, how high is it? The main thing is not to crash into something. We fell right into the stomach. We must get out of here soon. I have no idea where we have to go. Let's just go along the food. I think there should definitely be an exit. Food still goes somewhere. Let's have a big burger. George tells us we have to jump through food to get out of here. So now we're gonna take George's advice and get through this to the exit. We don't know where we are. There are cookies and a big sandwich. Who only has one at a time? Well, we won't ask any questions. Let's just get to the next challenge. Here we have come to the next test. We need to urgently pass this test because I am already ill in the body of one of the Peppa Pig family. This looks pretty creepy. Here we are on the next test. Here we need as much as at the beginning to jump these squares. It's like we're jumping into chess and we don't have to hit black squares. Shit, we're dead. Well, that's all right. Now we're going to be reborn in the same place and try it again. The main thing is to take it slow and watch what you do. That's it. The most important thing is attention. We hooked it up and now all went with the first try. Hurry up. Wow. You should probably just jump those obstacles. It's quite simple, so now we'll pass the next test. Look, over there, we are already falling down. Good thing we're not dead, and I can already see a way out of here. Hurry up and get him. Here, you need to pass this test at speed. First, we will die a little, and then we will begin to pass quickly. After all, we need to get used to the speed of obstacles, as well as how much to jump. Here, we were almost able to get through to the end. Come on, there's a little more left and we'll get out of this body. Hurrah! That's the end. Only now we appear elsewhere. It's the kitchen again. All right, let's get this over with. Only where will we start? And here, you have to jump on these black squares and then immediately on hangers. That's pretty cool. Then we get to the table where we need to jump a little through lasers, as well as through the water, which is poisoned for some reason. Just stay out of the way. We have almost reached the next checkpoint. There is very little left and we can all pass it. Let's push. We're already jumping over some bathroom accessories. Hurry up. We are told by George that we pass well. I am glad of this support. Now we are jumping on the dental counts. It is very unusual. Let's get on with it. Then we will have to jump down. Only on the floor we will not be able to step. And we will have to step only on drops of water. They'll get us through. We've almost done all that and we're about to pass the next test. It is quite difficult because the distance between the drops is very large and it is a little inconvenient. But we still managed. Next we need to jump on the tables. Only they are also unusual. After all, if you fall on the drops that appear on the table, you can easily die. So be careful when passing. We have almost reached the end. Let's accelerate already. I just want to go to the very end of all these tests. If we don't, I'm going to feel really bad. Next, we go through some very strange things. Well, it is clear that you need to jump the green band, but it is not clear what this object. All right, the main thing is that we pass. Hurry up and get on the hot dog, and soon we'll get on the next test. Wow, there's a parrot. Can he take us to the finish line on his back? Ha ha. Jump on more on some different objects and products. There is everything. There are salads and fast food and even a lot of dessert. I'd rather eat all this than jump on it. Next, we have to go through a little maze. It consists of these walls that kill instantly. Now I will try to demonstrate this. That's about how it works. Now we shall be reborn and we shall have better simply to pass this test in peace. We will watch every inch of these walls so as not to touch them. And then we will start again. We are almost there. Let's push it a bit because pretty soon I'm sure there will be an end to all trials. The main thing is not to stop and move forward. While we pass, the color changes. This is finally the end of this trial. Let's move on. Now we will have to jump over real money. I'm just shocked that such a test can be. Let's quickly do it. And they say that money is not dirty. Here, look, how we walk on them with our feet. It's just a horror. Come quickly on. There are lasers, only I cannot see the floor. What do you need to do? Applejack, here is a simple glass that can handle any weight. It was only necessary to look closely. See how easy it all goes. We're already climbing Lego Mountain. I think that this is almost the end. It is quite a bit and we will pass this test. The main thing is to get to the closet because this is the highest point here. Next, we have to go a little bit on this red thing. I think this is the final test before the finish. 
because I can't see any further and it's been a long time. This test is quite heavy and you need to be more careful to pass it. There are very narrow passages and you can easily die, but we won't allow it. Let's get to the end and see what's coming next. Because now will be the end of all trials. We have to go through the window. Wow, we appeared on the roof of the Peppa Pig family house. How cool! Let's all go down quickly to finish this escape! We still could do it! Look, there are so many sights and so many statues! We are running further and further. There is even some checkpoint on which we meet some people. I hope they're happy for us, for running away from home. Well, now let's finish today's series. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like today's series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Roblox. This mode is very cool and we want to play it again. Let's get started. Hello, everyone. This mode is called Doors. Here it will be very scary because it is horror. We're gonna have to run through doors into different rooms where the monsters are gonna follow us. We will try to play squad today, or rather to gather people to play together. We may not have enough time to gather the whole nation and we will have to play alone, but we hope we will not be alone. We don't have a crowd yet, but we'll wait till the last minute for him to come all over. Everyone wants to play a lot, so at least someone should connect. A lot of people have gathered near our room, I hope we can start, and now we will play very cool. The time is almost up, and it looks like the three of us are going to be playing together. All right, this will be fun too. Here comes the download! Very soon we will appear in the elevator and wait for everyone. After the elevator, we will go out for tests and pass them all. How cool it is that we are here! The download is still going on for a long time. I want to start playing soon. I hope it will be very cool, and we will pass all very quickly. Here we are in the elevator, waiting for our third partner. I don't think he's gonna be connecting to us anytime soon, so we're gonna have to wait 20 seconds to start together. I really hope that we will be able to walk to at least 20 doors, because it is very difficult. That's it! Now we'll start playing together, because we're only a few seconds away from getting off the elevator. It's okay. The important thing is that we friends are always together. We arrived at the hotel, and let's start already going. We need to find the key, and I roughly remember where it should be. We need to get in here, and then we can find the coins and the key. For some reason, our partner fell asleep a little. It seems that he is very afraid to be. Well, nothing. Let's open the door for him and run along. This is just the beginning, and nothing will happen. We're already going through the second door, and there's a warehouse waiting for us. Looks like someone wanted to clean up, but because of the monsters, he did not work out. Our partner seems to have left because he was very scared. So, here's the third room. There's basically nothing interesting here besides the lockers that usually have coins in them. Now, we're all gonna take them and go to the next room. There are also a lot of tables and boxes in room four where we can find coins, but so far there's nothing that can help us find. Let's keep running. Come on! There's a door closed here and we'll probably have to find something like a lever. Let's try to find that lever in this basement and finally open the door. There's a manhole right here. Let's try to climb up there and see if there's a lever or not. Oh my God, there's nothing. Run back, he's probably in the other aisle. Now we will see. We just lost time while climbing here. Well, that's okay. Now we'll just speed up a bit and quickly all pass. Here's the lever, run to the open door. Hurry up, only a few more to go and we will already be on the 10 room. This is a very good result. So far, we only get in the sixth room. Let's see what is waiting for us here. There is nothing unusual here either. Just close doors. Let's go a little bit to grab coins and go to the seventh room. We still need coins, and it is better not to miss the chance to get them. Okay, like we're almost all packed. Let's run on. In room seven, there's also almost nothing unusual. Ordinary big room. Only here it seems already need a key. We need to find it and open the door. In parallel with the fact that we are looking for keys, we will collect coins. There are a lot of different boxes in which there are not a few coins. We've already saved 100 coins and that's really cool. Let's try to run around the main room in case we find something. Hurrah! Here are the keys from the eight room. Let's quickly pick them up and go on. Just a little more to go. Yay! At last we enter the eighth door. We have almost reached the 10th room where it 
should appear exactly monsters. There was nothing in room eight, so we go straight to nine. Oh my God, there's a monster you can't look at because if you look at it, it will do very fast damage. We'll have our backs to him so we don't get caught in his face. Hooray! We were able to get through it. We were able to survive the first monster. It's very cool. Come on quickly. We are already at the 10th door and it will probably be necessary to rearrange the paintings so that they fall into place. Now we will do it! It is very easy to do it here and very soon we will be able to arrange them correctly. As soon as we do that, we'll be able to access the next room. There's room 11, let's get into it. Wow, there's almost nothing normal here. Let's try to get down. Let's also collect some coins. I thought we could go further. Descend all the lower and lower. There must be something interesting. At least there are a lot of boxes in which to store money. We've already saved almost 200 coins. Here we come down to the very bottom. Let's quickly go to the next door. It must be very interesting. Oh my God, how dark it is. Let's go gently to the next door. How scary! I want to get out of here, but I can't see the door! There she is! Oh my god! There's a closet down! What a horror! And there's a monster behind us! Oh no! He was so scary! Ah! I was very afraid of him! It's good that he didn't kill us! And that was very scary! Sos, we are looking for passage further! We must quickly get to room 20! We already have room 14! We get already to the 15th room. This is very good because very little left to 20. Here we also collect coins and go faster because here you can just go to the next room. There's room 16. I wonder what will be waiting for us there. Oh my God. The light is blinking. It means that the next monster will appear very soon. It's very scary. Let's hide in the closet from him. It flew over and knocked out the whole world. Now there's almost nothing to see. Let's get to the very end. We have very little left. Here we are in a strange room. Just keep moving until there are no monsters. There was that little monster behind us whispering again. It is very unexpected and scary, but we still cope with it and it does not kill us. Let's look for the key. It seems to me that the key is here. Oh, there it is. At last we could find it. Let's go ahead and see what awaits us. It's already room 18. How well we pass. What is waiting for us in this room now? I think that there is nothing. So we better collect coins and run to room 19. Our goal is to get to room 20. Hooray! There's room 20! I hope there won't be any monsters! Thank God! There's just a big room where we can collect a lot of coins. We have almost 300 of them, and we need to at least collect them. It's good to have no one hunt you down and no monsters. I'd stay in this room because it's very safe. But we still have to move on, so now we're going. Now I think I need to collect another nightstand with coins and run faster on. Yet why stay forever in one place? Need to run on. That's 21 rooms waiting for us. There's nothing here again. Okay, I really like this mode because it is very scary, and I love very much horror stories. I'm ready to come back here again and play a little longer. We have already passed a lot, and here we are hunting us again, Rush! We will hide from it, but we will still finish playing because we are very tired. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like this series, like it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon, bye. Hello friends, hello followers. Today we will play a game called Roblox. We are waiting for a big trip in one of the modes. Hello, everyone. Today we will play in a mode called Escape Girls Only Prison. I think we will have a lot of fun today. Wow. Hi, everyone. This game is very much like escaping from prison, Barry. But now we are being followed by a guard woman. But we are not easy here, and we need to escape. The first thing we see in our cell is a cake. Let's eat it quickly. Suddenly there will be something lying. Oh, my God. There is a key to something. It only looks like a key, Applejack. It's actually a spoon, and we need to dig a hole in our escape chamber now. Oh my god! Now we have to go through the parkour now! It's very fun, and I like to pass it! Oh my god! These platforms are also bad standing and disappearing! Oh my god! It's all so unreliable, but it's understandable because we are under our prison! This guard is watching us. We need to be more careful. Next, we just need to complete this parkour. Now press the buttons and move the pipes on which we need to jump to the pipe. So much fun. 
So we got to the door. There's this guard everywhere and she's really stressing me out. All right, let's go to the next level of escape. Oh my God! Getting out of the vent, this guard immediately meets us and runs after us. She runs so funny and she is more fun than she frightens. Here at last, we have passed this stage and go straight to the next. It seems that there, we will need not to get to the cameras and pass unnoticed. You have to be very careful. We easily pass this stage and immediately move on to the next. There is a guard swimming in the pool and it looks very funny. It makes me laugh. We crawled through the ventilation in some toilets and now we fall down. There is some acid waiting for us and again, parkour. He's so cool, but he's also the same. It was very light and tedious, so we quickly passed it. Let's move on because we need to quickly escape from here. Oh my God, there's a guard sleeping, quiet. Our task will be to release strong prisoners to cope with this guard. It will take three strong men from these cells to kill her. So we were able to defeat her and she has a key on her pants. We need to take it and open the door that leads to the next stage of our escape. We do everything so fast, I really like it. Wow, now we're going somewhere by train and it's very cool. I've never seen a prison train and it's very cool. Let's go. On the train, we got to some big ventilation pipe. And now with a gust of wind, we will run and jump all the obstacles that stand in our way. So we easily passed this pipe and now we are in the dining room. It looks like the first battle with the boss, just like in Barry's prison. This is so cool. We're going to kill this cook now with the cannon we're going to fill this chef with. And then soon it's going to explode. Very cool. So we were able to defeat her and out of her came a key that we can now open the next door. It looks like a little obstacle race in there. Wow, it's really fun to ride it and I love it. Hopefully there will be more of these interactive levels with transport as well as with bosses. So we passed that level and now we're in some kind of lab with a security robot who types something on a computer. She put the prisoners in the pods, oh my God. It looks like we're gonna have to find something here because she's shooting lasers at us and there's nothing we can do about it. Let's see what's in here. We found a bucket of water and it looks like we're about to pour all the water on this robot. Oh my God, hooray. We managed to defeat this monster and now we have to put his head down to go on. Now we have reached the level where some big man lies and it looks like he needs to be shot by a cannon. We need to find a shot for the cannon urgently. It was right in the vent above that gun and now we just need to put it in the gun. Then we'll shoot this man and open the door. Hooray, we were able to defeat this monster man and we can safely go on. We are waiting for some ventilation and wonder what will happen next. Oh my God, some parkour again. Here we will need to turn all the buttons to open this door. We just need to get to these buttons and then we can open this door. I love playing this game. From this door we have opened, we have come to an unusual room where girls play. Only now we will have to find a button to open the door. Here's the button we were looking for and now we can go through the door that opened and go on to escape this prison. I hope the guard isn't watching us right now. Next we have another simple parkour on the pipes which we will easily pass. Next we hit some gym where one of the security guards does it. It's really big and scary looking so we really need to get on the elevator and get down from here. Coming down, we immediately find a spoon that will now dig the tunnel further. I think we are very close to the end of this game. There's a guard knight running around, so we need to get up the stairs to get away from her. She'll catch us and we'll start over. Now we'll have to find the key to the lock to get through. So now we're going to check every chest to see if there's a key or not. These chests are so hard to open. It's very hard for me to open them. Hurrah, it worked. Only there was nothing in that chest, so now we're looking for the next one. The second chest is in another part of this room. It seems to me there is exactly the key we are looking for. Hurrah! We were able to find the key to this lock and now wonder what happens next. There's a big parkour over the lava. All the obstacles we have to overcome bend down and we have a chance to fall into the lava with them. Oh my God, there are such scary skeletons in the rooms of this cave. You have to be careful not to fall into these skeletons. You should die as little as possible. There are a lot of them here, so you need to be very careful and careful. Hurrah! Everyone, we were able to do it, and now go on. I wonder what will happen. Oh my god! Next, we have to ride on a trolley that leads us down. I wonder where she's taking us now, and if we can get out of this prison. Oh my god! We drove behind the textures, and it looks like this mode with big bugs. But like a trolley goes well, and hope we arrive. We were able to get here, and now we are waiting for the next obstacle on the way. 
We need to pass all the pens of the dogs that are here. There are also small and very large dogs that bite painfully. We're halfway there, and pretty soon I think we can get out of this prison. I really want to finish my prison break because I'm really tired. Next, we have a fast ride in a race car that I think is very fast. We have to overcome all obstacles, and then we can definitely escape. Wow, so fun to ride. I feel like a roller coaster in an amusement park. Just as fun and get adrenaline. This acceleration is very fast and I like to drive fast. Oh my God, it looks like we have arrived and we see immediately a guard who was in the beginning crying. We need to get to her and figure out what happened. Oh my God, looks like we're about to have a battle with the biggest boss in this prison. We're both in robot costumes and now all we have to do is beat the guard. It is not so difficult to beat this guard. She has a lot of health and you need to hit at point blank range. And if we stand like this, it will kill us very quickly. We need to think about how to kill her. We're about to kill that guard and we can move on. I wonder how many more we have left to get out of here. We just figured out how to beat that guard. Hooray, we could beat her. Surely we would now be free and be able to safely escape from here. I hope we don't have to go through anymore. Everyone, we have access to the passageway and it looks like we're about to get out of here. Yes, that's when we got the helicopter to fly us out of here. Hooray, we're flying out of prison in a helicopter and it's really cool. I'm so glad we were able to get out of here and now we can safely fly to freedom. I'm so tired of doing this. So here we are at some safe base where we'll be living for the first time. We were able to pass this mode very quickly and I really liked it here. That's it, we were able to escape. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. Write your opinion in the comments. See you soon. Hello. Hello, dear followers. Today we continue to play at Roblox and today we will have one of the scariest games in Roblox. It's called Apirophobia and it's very scary. There are many different locations that are very beautifully made as well as many scary characters that will from time to time scare us. Hello, I am very much afraid of horror stories. You will support me and soothe me? Cause I might just faint in fear and not make it with you. Let's stick together in this game and play calmly. I think it's gonna be a lot better than everyone doing their own thing. Hello, we are already entering this beautiful game. Ha ha ha, I love horror stories. And I'm ready to help you with anything because I'm not afraid of monsters and I can safely pass any level. That's the first level. It's a very scary game, the audience. So if you're afraid, turn off this video. It's very scary. Hello, friends. Hello, audience. Here we immediately launched into this game. It's time we find a way out of here. The clue shows that we need to find a hatch with a ladder but a monster will follow us. I hope he doesn't scare us at the beginning. I'm scared. Oh my God, how scary it was. And that sound, ugh, how terrible. Let's quickly find the way out of the arrows that are shown here. There's such a big maze here. I hope we can even find a way out. There are very few clues and you need to run along different paths and return again to the same place where we were. That is how the maze is arranged. The main thing is not to meet the same monster or it will prevent us. Now we will try all the ways that will help us get out. Okay, there's a clue here that we should take that route, but we're gonna go the other way because I think the creator is trying to confuse us like this and there's not gonna be that hatch. If we run around here now and we don't find a way out, we're gonna have to go that way because that's the only way we haven't tried it. There is a strange purple glow and more arrows appeared. I think we are on the right way and now we will pass this level. Oh my God, it is. We have finally found this hatch and we can get out of here. There is some kind of ventilation in which to jump. Hurry up and get there. We are moving to some building where you just need to run. I wonder where we will run. Some long road has met us and it leads us to who knows where. But I realized that it takes us from one level to another and it's done very nicely and pleasantly to the eye. Very cool graphics in this game and it is comfortable to play, despite the fact that there are many scrimmers and itself is a very scary game. By the time we get to the second level, I'm tired of running straight ahead. 
You want to solve riddles and be scared of monsters that I fear. But only a little. Yes, I agree in Twilight Sparkle. The graphics in this game are on a level and gives its own atmosphere, which is not found in other Roblox games. This game is the only quality horror game. Hurrah! We almost made it to the second level! It really happened! Wow! There are some swimming pools and everything is made of tiles that are used in swimming pools. It's probably very slippery, but we need to think about what to do. We need to find six pieces of valves in the tubes to open a door that still needs to be found. I hope we can handle it. It's pretty dark in here, so we should use a flashlight that we have well that we have. Looks like I found the first valve to scroll. Let's do it quickly. You have to take it and press A or D buttons to scroll it. Very interesting. It remains to do the same with five more valves. We will now look for the next valves. Only I have no idea what to do to find them. There are no clues for this, and it will be hard to find one or the other valve. We have never seen a monster before and hope we never see one. In addition to going through the levels, we need to defend ourselves against the monsters that are hunting us. I think someone is watching us, I wonder. Who could it be? Oh my god! How scary it was now! There was not only the monster that was seen on the first level, but also some octopus. It seems that we should hide from it. It is quite slow, so we will have time to escape from it. We still need these valves. Run them to search and spin. Yeah! Let's find those valves! But now let's all be very careful, because this could be the octopus that could kill us. Be very careful and do not let us be killed. We have very few valves left. Let's go look for them. So we found another valve. Let's scroll it and run it further. We have one less valve left. Pinkie Pie, I think you're confused. There's no valve, and it looks like you're starting to hallucinate out of fear. Do not be afraid. We are with you and always are. Even if the monster catches us, it will catch us all together, not just you. Now we have definitely found a valve that is in the water. It remains to find fewer and fewer valves. Hurry up! Very well. Let's keep looking for these valves. We have on account for as many as two and still have to find four more. It will be quite easy because these two we found in just a few minutes. It turns out that we have a few more minutes and we will move on to the next level. I hope we succeed and the monster doesn't catch us. I found just one more valve and we have exactly as much time left as we did. Oh my God! There's no way this my monster has us stumped. We have no choice where we run because now he's just gonna kill us where we run. Well, nothing. You need to accept the damage and just start from the beginning. Our valve, which we scrolled, should stay. I'm scared to look at this monster. So, let's quickly revive and think what we are doing wrong! It seems to me that there is still some tactic to find these valves. Let's look at the clue again and think about it. Nothing is clear on her, but it is clear that you need six pieces of these valves. So ran to look! Generally no idea where to look for them. I think I figured out what to do here. From above, we have these pipes, and if we go in the direction of them, we can find the valve that belongs to them. I'm just brilliant, and now let's test this theory. Hope it really works. Oh my god. We can't find anything yet. We'll go for a little pause, which you won't even notice. Oop, here we are. We've already found all the valves and scrolled them, and found an exit that's finally open. There's a green button on which means we've completed all the assignments on this level. Hurry up and keep going. It looks like we're going swimming and we need to find a way out. We're almost at the end of this level. It's just that we can't see very well, but we'll manage. It's very deep, but we've been able to get through that depth and into a place where we need to get out. There's a big tunnel that leads to who knows where. It looks like it's almost the end of the second level. We are great at that, so quickly pass them. Okay, so we're moving on to the next third level, but we're only going to do it in the next one. During this series, we managed to pass two interesting levels, and we managed to scare us three times. 
This is a very interesting and scary game, which is very much breathtaking and develops logic. Hope we come back here. Like it, audience. See you soon. Hello, friend. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Roblox, in which we will have to play a mode that represents survival in different weather conditions that exist all over the world. It's going to be quite a challenge, so you have to work hard to win this mode. That's why we came here, because we are all powerful ponies. We are now entering the first level of this game. They're offering us a big office, and we don't know what kind of weather event it's gonna be, so we need to figure out where to run. I think we're gonna run upstairs, see if there's anything off the ground. But if there are any tornadoes or earthquakes, we will immediately fall with the house and crash. Now we will look. There's so many people running upstairs. It looks like they know something, or they just want to get higher. The most important thing is that we can all be saved, because it will be very sad if we lose at first level. But we're gonna do whatever it takes to make sure we win here, because we can do better, and on the roof of this office, we're gonna win. Oh my god! We are very lucky with this level because we have a flood, from which you need to hide on high buildings and not only. Now we definitely have to win, as long as nobody pushes us out of here, or else we lose this easy level. Let's see how the water rises in this world, because we've never seen it. It's a very beautiful game. Wow, it's getting so smoothly up. And it's probably best not to stand on the edge of this building, because it's so scary, and it could be that somebody bumps us and we crash. The most important thing is to watch the water so you know when the building will be flooded and wait for it to start falling apart. Hopefully, with the whole building falling apart, we won't go into the water and die. Oh my god! That can't be! How could we slide down from this building? I'm so sorry we couldn't make it past this level because it was one of the easiest. We were at the top of the building and we had to wait until the end to win, but we didn't make it. Well, that's alright. Now we wait for the next level and we definitely have to win it. Won by some two people who were very lucky. If we were inside the building or on top of the building, but in the center, we would win too. But then we slipped off this building because we jumped and fell into the water. It's a shame, but we're not going to be sad because it's just a game. And now we're going to get to the next level where we're going to make it work. Okay, let's wait for the next level because I'm already wondering what the next level has prepared for us. This is a very interesting game, judging by the first level. You have to be smart enough to figure out where to hide and to figure out where to hide from a certain weather event. The next card we're gonna play is the school. And I think there's plenty of places to hide. It's such a big place. I think we'll find a place to hide. There are also lockers that can be climbed, as well as there are classrooms where you can play teacher or just hide, because this is a very small room that is protected completely by walls. So no weather phenomenon can break through this protection. Now we have to wait for the weather event to be announced. It's such a big place. I think we'll find a place to hide. There are also lockers that can be climbed, as well as there are classrooms where you can play teacher or just hide, because this is a very small room that is protected completely by walls. So no weather phenomenon can break through this protection. Now we have to wait for the weather event to be announced. Oh my god! It was very unexpected when a tornado appeared right in the place we were. We lost our hair, and we were very lucky that we were able to survive, because we could easily die. We have very few lives left, and we need to stay away from the flying blocks and the tornado itself, so that we don't get sucked into it and hit us with any blocks. I'm glad we're lucky, and the most important thing is that the tornado doesn't come our way now, because we have to watch out for him. We'll be standing on the edge because most of the tornadoes are near the building and it shouldn't touch the edges. It's a really cool tornado system and I love it. Only we are now completely bald and it is very scary. I cannot look at my character. So we have finally won this challenge. I am so glad that we were able to win, though not in the first, but most importantly in the second test. It was a very difficult test, and we tried not to get hit by this tornado. We were very lucky, because if we had stayed even longer in this tornado, or we had not stood quickly near a tornado, we would have died for sure. 
So, now on the next level, we are waiting for the map house. In it, I think it will be a little difficult to hide, but a lot of space. So if there's any rain or storm, we can survive in this house. But if there is a flood or an earthquake, it will be in question because it will be necessary to quickly move to a place where you can climb on the roof or vice versa, descend from it. Let's try to win here. Only hear strange things happen, start something loud, and also our screen starts to be white. It seems that there is a snowstorm and we need to hide just in the house. How lucky we are with you. And now we will win again. Hurrah! Yay! Okay, let's not make any guesses for the future. It will be better what exactly will be. So we won in the last mode, where there was a blizzard, just a camera blew out of the snow, and we could not film it for you. It was too cold. Let us try now further, and very interesting. What will be offered to us at the next level? I really like to survive in such conditions, because it is very unusual and very scary for some. The main thing is not to die before the time and quickly respond to the change of situation. Here we are quietly surviving on some construction site. We already have hair, but we still have very little health. Here we will have a volcanic eruption, which we did not expect. I will hide where there is no lava and we can survive here. If only a piece of stone flies right into our building, behind which we hide, we can die, because all the details will blow us into the ocean. Here I am, already very bored to stand, and I would go in the midst of fun where most of the rocks fly, but we have very little health, so we'd better wait here and regrow so that we can have full health and do whatever we want at these levels. The most important thing is that we have a safe place. So we have won this next level, and it is very cool, because after one loss, we have the third in a row. So, now we are waiting for the next level, and very interesting, what kind of map will be on it? I really liked only the card that is called School. There are many different rooms and a lot of space to hide all players, and of course we. It was on that map that we were able to win in spite of everything. I also wonder what we will hide from at the next level. Hooray! The next card on which we will play is just the school that is my favorite. I wonder what natural phenomena will appear at this level, because I do not even understand where to hide to survive here. We still have very little health, and it is a pity that it is not restored after each passing level. All right, we can survive this easily. Let's hide again on the second floor. Geez, well, let's not really survive at this level, because we're running out of time. It was very interesting to know what the natural phenomenon here, but we better leave it all for the next episode of this game, because it is very interesting, and I am sure that we will make exactly the second part. If you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Roblox. This is where we have to get out of the pizzeria, and I think it's going to be really cool. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad we're back at Roblox. I really like to run away from somewhere in this game, and I think we should definitely be able to escape today. So here we are in this pizzeria, and now we have to think about what to do. There are strange inscriptions written in blood, and they are very frightening. There's also the laughter of the chef, who's very scary. So we hit some kind of elevator. So now we're going down to this pizza place. I wonder what is waiting for us there and whether it will be difficult. I hope we can definitely get out of here. So, here we came down, and here we are immediately met by some sort of meat grinder. It looks very scary, and I want to quickly pass it. Run quickly! Here we are told that the best solution is to go back, but we want to get out of here, so hurry up and move on so we can do it soon. There are a lot of traps here. Just don't hit them. So let's move on, and we just have to pass. Oh my god! The lights have gone out, and that chef is out somewhere. It got really scary, and I hope we can get to the exit through these pizzas. We almost made it to the exit, and we need to jump into some open hatch. Ugh, hope he doesn't jump behind us. We're going through further trials to get out of here. Here began the part with some chemicals that are likely very toxic, so it is better not to fall there. We have to get through this before we catch all this. Wow, these pipes are thin. I wonder what's going on. They will be very difficult to pass on because very little space to just run them. But we will definitely cope. 
So now we're going up and hopefully we'll be out of here with the chemicals. Hurrah! We're out of our seat. There's a broken toilet with a cook. Here is the next challenge that is before us. Here we need to jump the web and not hit it so as not to start the test of the late. I think it'll be simple enough. It turned out to be harder than we thought because they are very thin and there are a lot of them. It is impossible to just take and jump them quickly. You have to be very careful. So we pass this test and go on. We fell right through the web and got into some dungeon. I hope it won't be too difficult and there won't be that scary chef. Oh my God, it looks like you can't step on these platforms. Now we must try a new one to pass this test. Only now we have to bypass all these platforms. Let's hurry up and see what happens next. I can already see we're going to have to climb some tall tower, but it's a pretty simple test and we'll get through it. There will be a very long rise and hope that we will cope with it and not fall. After all, I do not want to start the climb from the beginning because it is very long to climb. I am sure that there is very little left because I am already very tired of such a similar task and I want to go on. Oh my God, here's a passage. Hurry up and run. Okay, here's the next challenge. There's some weird room that's filled with fairy. You have to jump down the pipes and go upstairs. I wonder what will happen. So we go up and wonder what's next for us. Oh my God, there's a room upstairs and we have to go back to the dark room with the tables. There's gotta be a chef running around. Oh my God, it was so sudden. I was very afraid and the best solution is to follow him. So pay attention and see where it comes from. He appears somewhere on the left side. So the best solution is to run on the right side and find a vent that we can escape him again. I am so scared. So we found this vent and let's jump in it quick so that scary chef doesn't catch us. Wow, there is also some interesting test waiting for us. We must quickly pass it. This is very difficult because we are jumping on very thin beams. One extra movement and we will fall down. It will be very careful. The laser test is next. We almost passed it and we have very little time to get out of here. That's just the passage somewhere. I wonder where it leads. Oh my God, what a skeleton shower. Here we will need to find a crowbar that we can open the door. We need to hurry because there are very scary and some couples are coming. Here's the crowbar we need. Let's go break down the door. Wow! It's so cool how we're breaking down this door and we're about to go further. I love it! So there's some kind of elevator and we need to get upstairs. I wonder what's in it for us. This elevator rises so high and very slowly, very tempting what will be at the height. Even a little scary to see something there. I hope everything will be very well. We are almost up. By the way, it is good that the lift takes so long because it gives time to relax from these tests and relax. It's too hard to go through in a row. So here's the challenge. There are some very scary spikes that can crush us with ease. It's going to be very hard because they're going down very quickly. The main thing is to catch the moment. We have almost passed this test and it was much easier than we thought. Now we are moving on to the next test. We get into the kitchen now and it looks like everything is very bad. Here you need to jump through the pipes and it's quite an easy task, but the main thing is not to fall down. Oh my God, that's what happened. We're the only ones that have fallen to some level and wonder if we can get out of here. Falling to the bottom was the best decision because there was no choice at all. Now we have to go through it all again. Just get to the end. We are almost there, but the task ahead is more difficult. We will need to jump on a moving conveyor. It's going to be difficult because it slows down very much, but we'll try to do it. People's limbs are getting in the way of this, but we have to get through it because we have to get out. We're taking a lot of risks, but we're doing fine. So let's move on. I wonder what is waiting for us there. There is some big descent and it is very much to expect. Oh my God, we need to jump into some cage. It's very interesting. It is very scary to go down in this rusty cage. The most important thing is that it does not fall into lava and do not fall there. Here open the cage, but we do not jump to the next test and burn in lava. Hopefully we will appear there. Yeah, we showed up here and now we're climbing on some float up by the lava. It's very scary and it's hot, but we have to get through this calmly and without panic. Now we are climbing higher and I think we are already near the exit of this pizzeria. It is very close. Now we will climb all the stairs and go outside. 
At least I hope so. So, here's another test, which is that you have to jump over very thin brick blocks. I hope we can get through this the first time. It looks like we're on our way to the exit of this pizzeria now. I'm so glad, but I think it's not over. Oh my god, it is. We're out of here, but now we have to run home. I think that now we will be haunted by this scary chef. You need to be very careful to see him. He could be anywhere, and his laughter scares and knocks him off. Oh my god, there's that scary chef. He's running right behind us. I'm very scared and I want to run away from him. Oh no, he caught us, so we have to run again. Now we know where the scary chef is and we just have to get away from him. It is very fast, but we are much faster than him, so the main thing is to run in the right direction. This time, he could not even catch up with us and we run very well. Where is this exit to freedom? I want to run away from here. Oh my god, there's the fence. We finally got out of that pizza place. I'm so glad we were able to get out of this pizza place. Everyone did a really good job. Now we can finish tonight's episode. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Bye. Really like the mode we will play today. Hello, everyone. Today we will be running away in a game called Carnival of Terror, and I think it will be very scary and interesting. Let's go see what's coming. So, at the entrance, we are met by some boy, Jim. It looks like he will help us find the passageways, as well as we will help him. The first thing you see in your eyes is the track. Oh my god, we ran literally a little, and here is the first checkpoint. Here we will have to jump on different things that are in lava. Don't fall into it. So, run on, and here we will need to fall down to get to the next level. Oh my god, how much will it be necessary to pass here? Let's get on with it. I am very afraid of falling down, so the best solution is just not to look down. These beams are very dangerous and it feels like they're going to fall off. You have to be very careful. So the next level is waiting for us. Here we will need to carefully pass through the pipes from which the fire comes. The main thing is not to get into it. So we were able to get through this and now we are going to the next stage. Next, we will have to just jump through ordinary pipes. It's a very simple task for now. It is very scary to fall down because there is some strange steam. It seems that there is very hot and if you fall there, you will boil very quickly. The main thing is not to think about the bad. So, we have been here for a very long time, but our task do not end! Now you need to jump on thin pipes! The main thing to hit them! The tasks are getting harder! Now we're gonna have to climb up that rusty pipe, and we're probably gonna be able to get somewhere by now. I'm very curious about the end of this escape. I think it's gonna be a very tall pipe, because we've been down here a long time. But the main thing is that we do not lose spirit and want to completely pass all these tests. So we were able to climb this pipe and now run on. Here we have a small test in which we will have to run over a very thin pipe. The main thing is that it does not fail. Now it is very scary to be so high above the abyss. Because besides that, it will be very painful to fall. So it is still very hot. You have to follow the rule not to look down. Hurrah! There's some staircase and it looks like we're finally going to get somewhere. I hope we'll be out soon. Oh my God! There's another strange room! There are very scary saws that are very loud. I hope we will not run into them and quietly pass. In principle, they don't work very much, so it was very easy to pass them. I am sure that this staircase is definitely the last and leads to the street. I just see the black sky, which is not here. I want to go outside already. Let's get up fast! Oh my god! It looks like there's going to be some kind of battle with the boss because Jim is warning us about the clown. I hope we can get through it and it won't catch us. Oh my god! What a mess! The most important thing was to jump into the cubicle from this ride to get to the very top where the trials continue. The clown can't get in here, haha! -ha. You can rest a little in this cubicle because we are waiting for it to come to the top and we will move on to the next trial. We've never failed a test before. So be ready now! Very soon we will be landing from here because we are approaching the beginning of the next tests. We're jumping out right now! There continue to be light trials, only they are very high and one excess movement and we will fall to the bottom. I do not want to fall. We have only a little to think about. Now, this is going to be really interesting because I'm seeing Jim again 
and I'm seeing this really scary ride that we're probably going to have to go down on. I hope everything goes well. <sighs> I hope it won't be too scary. I'm very scared. Ah! Where we are going all the way down. This is a very extreme ride. And I wouldn't want to ride it all the time. So here we come down. I hope there will be something interesting here because we are very deep and we can hear the laugh of a clown. I hope he can't catch us here. Everything here is so old, and I'm scared here a little bit is located. Strains all this environment, but it is very interesting. What kind of tests are waiting for us? Oh my god, these pitchforks are very sharp and I was able to get under them. It's all right, Pinkie Pie. The main thing is that we stayed here and now we keep going. This is a much worse test and we're almost through it. The main thing to react quickly. So, the next test that awaits us are the big balls that can drop us down. I think it will be quite difficult. Oh my god, we went so fast. Hurrah! Hurry up. There's a boy, Jim, who we already know, and some big statue. It looks like she'll give us something. We're going through speed tests now. Oh my god, it looks like all these trials will be a little later. Now you will have to jump on this very small bridge and the main thing is not to fall down. It is very easy. So, moving on to the next test. Oh my god, it looks like it's going to be hard again because here we have these flame pipes waiting for us again, only they are now spinning. You'll have to be very careful. If you go slow and slow, you can do it the first time, which we do, it's just a little bit more and we'll move on to the next challenge. I wonder what's next for us. It looks like we're going to be jumping on small pipes. It is very dangerous because they are very thin and under the feet of the abyss. You need to be careful. Now that's what we're going to test for speed. The main thing will not fall from here because it is very dangerous. I like to run fast because it is very fun, especially to overcome such obstacles. This is a very scary location and I want to get out of here, but we're going to have to go through a lot to get out. On the one hand, there is an atmosphere that is very scary. So, we've passed this test and moved on to the next one. Looks like we're not gonna run fast now, but we're gonna jump really high, and I like it. Let's try it all. I think we will succeed, because it is very easy. Here you will need to jump just on these blocks. Oops, we're a little bit late. Looks like we're on the edge. It's okay, let's try it again. Now it will definitely succeed, because in fact it is very simple test which requires only to understand how to pass it. I already feel there's not much left and I'm already hoping we'll get out of here soon. I really want to go through all this because I am very tired and I want to break from these horror stories. Here, let's push it. It's just a little bit longer and we can get through all this horror. If we're already climbing some tall tower, then we're very close to our most cherished goal, which is to escape. So run along and I think on this challenge, we're gonna have to jump right into the volcano. It will be very scary, but we have to try to do it because we need it to pass. We have hit some other location. We need to run right into the mouth of this scary clown, and I am very afraid of what will happen to us. Oh my God, we showed up in some weird room. It will be quite elephant to pass all these tests because they are quite heavy. Here, you will need to jump on these lasers, but because the camera is moving away, this task becomes more difficult. We will try various ways to pass this test because we definitely have to pass it, no matter how. In principle, it is very easy, but you need to get used to the fact that the camera is moving away. Now we are very well dispersed and I think that now we will definitely be able to pass it all. The main thing is not to knock off the rhythm and jump over them. It's pretty simple to find out than we thought. So now we are among some traps must get out of here soon. I wonder how soon it will be over because these traps are very scary and I am completely scared of everything here. So where are we going now? Oh my God, what a wonderful room. It looks so beautiful and here it seems that the blocks are removed when you step on them. So you need to go through it all very quickly. It was a pretty simple test, so now we're almost at the secret door and we're wondering where we're going to get after all this. It's a very strange house for a clown. So, the next test we're facing is a moving platform and very dangerous lasers. We have to get between them so they don't hit us. It's pretty simple, and I think we're almost there. We need to speed up our trials a little bit 
and think less, because we're all really scared, and we need to get out of here. So it's very interesting where we can go now. I'm very interested. Oh, again, Jim. Oh, my God. Now we will go riding on the rides on the tracks, and thus we will escape. You need to be well tuned. It's accelerating so slowly, I'm very afraid. I hope we're going to be okay and we'll make a very successful escape. The most important thing is that this doesn't stop, because then the clown can catch us. I'm scared too, but I'm really glad we're almost done with this. Consider that now we will roll on these slides and fly to freedom. We can escape. We're already turning and it's just a little bit before we get out of here. I really like the trials in this game because they are very interesting and exciting. Here we are going to fly now. How scary. Uh, oh my God, where are we? How could we all have gone? Hurrah, hurrah. We were able to escape that scary amusement park and that scary clown. So let's finish this episode. We really enjoyed running away from there. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. Also, write creative comments. See you soon.